Now, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank the organizers for uh, inviting me uh, here. And uh, this is uh, uh, my first trip to Hong Kong. And uh, I was very uh, impressed with the very beautiful uh, campus and the beautiful scenery and the, uh, beautiful uh, food. And uh, uh, I found uh, that uh, I like uh, uh, dragon, uh, fire dragon fruits. <laughs> okay. uh, anyway, uh, today I'd like to talk about a recent work on the theory of spin current generation from rigid and uh, elastic motion. I'm Mamoru Matsuo from uh, the Japan Atomic Energy Agency, and this work is done in collaboration with uh, Dr. Junichi Eda and Dr. Kazuya Hari, and Professor Eiji Saito and Professor Sadamichi Maikawa. And uh, let me uh, briefly introduce uh, the spin current. And uh, as you know, uh, the uh, electron has the uh, charge as well as the spin. And the charge current is the flow of charges. And in this case, uh, the uh, spin degree of freedom uh, cancel out. And this is the charge current. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we can consider a uh, flow of spins. Uh, if uh, the up uh, spin electron in this way and the uh, down spin that way, and in this case, uh, the uh, charge uh, uh, charges are canceled out, then uh, we obtain the flow of spins. And uh, uh, this is the spin current. However, uh, the spin current is very uh, fragile. I mean, uh, the uh, charge current uh, case, uh, the charge current is the conserved quantity. So uh, it can travel infinite distance. So it's easy to control. However, uh, the spin current is non-conserved quantity, so it can travel only in the sub-micron uh, uh, scale. Uh, so uh, uh, we need uh, the uh, nanotechnology, so uh, the control of the spin current is a uh, very uh, challenging program uh, in the field of spin uh, drawings. And, uh, uh, as you can see here is the uh, famous uh, the Hall effect and the civic effect, uh, 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 which uh, uh, is uh, discovered in the 19th century. And if uh, you add the prefix uh, spin to them, uh, that they are reborn as uh, the hot topics in the field of spin tonics. And uh, uh, such a uh, related uh, such kind of uh, topics uh, uh, were given in the talk, uh, my uh, sensei's talk and the cycle sensei's talk, so uh, let me speak, skip uh, the uh, details of, of these topics. And uh, 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 let me uh, uh, tell you uh, the ultimate, ultimate goal of our, uh, uh, our ultimate goal. Uh, we'd like to formulate uh, the spin mechatronics, which is com which combine, uh, uh, com com which combination, which is combination uh, of the spin electronic system and nanomechanical system. And in this talk, uh, I'd like to uh, focus on the following question: uh, Can we generate spin currents by mechanical means, including the rotation or the vibration? Okay. And this is outline of my talk. Uh, the, uh, uh, let me first uh, introduce uh, the coupling uh, between the magnetism and the mechanical rotation. And then uh, I will tell you uh, the uh, spin and current from the rigid and elastic motion. And uh, uh, let me uh, discuss uh, the uh, renormalization of the spin and rotation coupling. Okay. So uh, well, let's move on to the first, uh, first uh, section of my talk. And in 1915, Einstein and Dohars uh, discovered the rotation by magnetization. Uh, if you apply the uh, magnetic uh, field uh, to the ferromagnets, and the spins uh, align in the parallel to the uh, field. And uh, thanks to the uh, angular momentum conservation law, uh, this uh, body is start to rotate. This is the einstein dohars effect, and uh, this uh, uh, is uh, also known as Einstein's only experiment. Yeah. And uh, in the same uh, year, uh, the Barnett uh, discovered the inverse of the einstein dohars effect, magnetization by rotation. And important uh, uh, 
point here is uh, that uh, a rotation uh, can be interpreted as the magnetic field. Okay. And this is uh, our motivation slide. Uh, as mentioned, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the coupling uh, between the uh, mechanical rotation and magnetization have been uh, 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 studied, have been studied for long years. And on the other hand, uh, the coupling between the magnetization and the spin current, the flow of spins, uh, are a very uh, hot topic in the field of spin tronics. However, uh, uh, the direct link uh, between the mechanical rotation and the spin current is missing. So uh, uh, our, um, our first uh, uh, question uh, is, uh, the, what is the fundamental theory of the uh, direct coupling between the mechanical rotation and the spin current? Okay, and then let's move on to the next topic. And as you can uh, see, uh, uh, what you can see here uh, is the spin hole effect. Uh, if you, uh, we have the spin orbit interaction, then uh, the, uh, the velocity of the electron uh, depends on the spin. So uh, if we apply the electric field, uh, up spin it goes in this way and down spin in the opposite way, uh, then uh, the spin current is created in the perpendicular to the uh, electric field. Uh, the, this is the spin hole effect. And uh, my question is uh, following. Uh, uh, can we include the mechanical motion uh, to the, uh, this kind of uh, uh, effect? And uh, let me introduce the inertia effects on electron. Uh, in the presence of the uh, linear acceleration, uh, electron feels uh, the inertial force uh, uh, given by the MA. And, and then this inertial force can be interpreted as the effective electric uh, field. And similarly, uh, in the presence of the rotational uh, acceleration, uh, uh, electron field the Coriolis force. Oh, uh, Coriolis force. Uh, and uh, but uh, the, this uh, is equivalent to the uh, Lorentz force uh, due to the uh, effective magnetic field uh, given in this form. So, uh, uh, as you uh, can see in this picture, uh, the uh, inertial effects on electron are equivalent to the gauge field, uh, 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 like E and B. So, uh, our question is, uh, the, uh, how about the inertial effects on spin and spin current? So, uh, let us consult uh, the general relativistic Dirac equation. Uh, according to the, uh, Einstein's uh, general relativity, uh, the inertial effects are equivalent to the gravitational fields, and uh, both the electric field, electromagnetic field and the gravitational fields can be included by introducing the connections, uh, in other words, the gauge potential. So uh, this uh, uh, general relativistic Dirac equation uh, can uh, describe the spin-dependent inertial effects on uh, electron. So our strategy is the following. Uh, usually, if you want to uh, uh, get a, a Zeeman uh, interaction and a spin orbit interaction, uh, you uh, start with a special relativistic Dirac equation. And in my case, uh, 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 we start with the general relativistic Dirac equation, uh, which is the fundamental equation in the non-inertial frame. Then, the taking, uh, performing the low energy limit, uh, then uh, we should have uh, the, uh, uh, some modified Zeeman or uh, spin orbit interaction. And, uh, and uh, performing uh, such a kind of low energy expansion, then uh, we obtain the, uh, this uh, kind of blue terms, and and uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, result. Uh, this, uh, in the uh, presence of the both uh, rotation and magnetic field, uh, the spin orbit interaction is modified in this form. And uh, omega is the rotation frequency, then R, R, so omega cross R is the rotation velocity. So uh, this is uh, very uh, similar to the B, B cross B, okay? Uh, so, and from, uh, from this uh, spin orbit interaction, uh, we uh, have the spin dependent uh, velocity as shown here. 
So uh, if we apply the magnetic field parallel to the uh, uh, rotation axis, then uh, this uh, blue uh, part uh, becomes the radial uh, 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 effective electric field. So uh, in, from uh, this uh, uh, spin orbit interaction, uh, up spin uh, goes in this way and down in the other way. So we obtain the spin current in the azimuthal direction. Uh, speed of light. Ah, no. Uh, 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 I, uh, we, we use uh, this uh, 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 parameter is uh, uh, in solid, not bare. bare. Ah, okay. Uh, you, uh, you, you mean the uh, uh, divided C? Ah, no. Uh, this is uh, similar to the uh, uh, Lorentz boost, but uh, this is not di not not the case. Uh, just a similar, uh, because. Uh, uh, in the uh, special relativity, the, uh, uh, this kind of rotation uh, cannot be uh, discussed. So later, I'll show the difference. Uh, okay. So uh, we don't use uh, the divided C. Uh, dimension? Oh, no, 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 this is OK. OK. And, And uh, also, in the presence of a linear acceleration, the similar spin orbit interaction can be obtained. So if we, uh, uh, OK, uh, uh, please uh, uh, let me uh, remind uh, this cat <laughs> in the uh, red uh, car. And uh, uh, in the, uh, if we apply the uh, vibration in this uh, way, then the AC spin current is created perpendicular to the effective electric field due to the uh, uh, linear acceleration. Okay. Uh, now uh, let's move on to the uh, next topic: uh, spin current generation from the elastic motion. Uh, interplay uh, of the spin and sound uh, uh, also uh, uh, has also been studied lo for long years, and uh, very recently, uh, Dr. Uchida in the Professor uh, Saito's group. Uh, uh, performed, uh, uh, demonstrated uh, the acoustically, uh, uh, acoustic spin pumping in the uh, megahertz uh, region. And the uh, Munich group uh, uh, observed the uh, elastically driven ferromagnetic resonance in the thin film, uh, thin film uh, uh, layer in the gigahertz range. And however, uh, uh, these uh, studies are uh, uh, done in the magnetic uh, material. So our question is, uh, the, can we generate the spin current in non-magnetic uh, metal in the semiconductor by surface acoustic way? And uh, we also start with the general relativistic Dirac equation and uh, uh, by using the general coordinate transformation uh, from the uh, inertial frame to the local rest frame of the velocity field of the lattice, then we obtain the spin rotation coupling. And the spin, uh, uh, omega is given by the, this uh, form. And uh, this spin uh, rotation coupling is a mechanical analog of the Zeeman interaction. Okay. Uh, in the Zeeman interaction, magnetic field is given by the uh, curl of the vector potential. And very similarly, uh, the mechanical uh, in the case of the spin rotation coupling, uh, uh, rotation frequency omega is uh, given by the curl of the velocity field of the lattice. Okay. And uh, if uh, uh, we have the uh, spin rotation coupling, then uh, the spin diffusion equation uh, should be modified in this way. Uh, uh, Usually, uh, spin density uh, can, be uh, can be evaluated from the energy difference of the top of, uh, uh, ener uh, top of the energy band. Uh, but uh, in this case, uh, we have the, uh, this uh, coupling. So uh, this coupling is uh, so uh, 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 the uh, bottom of the uh, band uh, split in this way. So uh, and in this. Uh, effect is uh, uh, related to the Barnett effect, as mentioned before. So uh, spin density uh, can, uh, should, uh, can be uh, modified uh, this uh, term. So, and uh, 
time, uh, equations motion the spin density consists of the two uh, process. Uh, the on, uh, one is uh, the on-site spin flip uh, with the spin lifetime tau SF. And the, uh, the other is uh, the spatially uh, diffusion uh, with the diffusion constant D. So then, and we obtain the spin uh, diffusion equation uh, is uh, this kind of uh, source time. And uh, from uh, this uh, equation, and, uh, we uh, can uh, estimate the spin current uh, from this uh, formula. Yeah. And, uh, uh, to obtain the spin current uh, uh, from uh, the mechanical uh, motion, uh, we uh, operate the time deri derivative and uh, uh, gradient number. So we uh, need uh, the space-time dependent rotation. So uh, this is uh, why uh, I use uh, the surface acoustic wave, which is uh, the which uh, uh, drive uh, the uh, space-time dependent mechanical rotation. And uh, this is a snapshot of the spin current uh, uh, induced by the surface acoustic wave. And uh, mechanical rotation, uh, local uh, rotation, decrease uh, in the uh, uh, y direction. And uh, so uh, we have uh, the uh, gradient of the mechanical rotation and uh, spin current uh, flows uh, the parallel to uh, the gradient of the mechanical rotation in this, in this direction. And uh, from uh, this uh, uh, spin current, uh, we obtain the uh, spin accumulation at the surface, and uh, we have the, this kind of uh, stripe uh, patterns. And uh, the uh, uh, this is the plot of the uh, AC spin current induced by the surface acoustic wave. And uh, this, is, uh, uh, this spin current uh, uh, is oscillate in a uh, time direction. And uh, the maximum uh, amplitude uh, is located uh, near the surface. And, uh, and this... Uh, uh, also, we have uh, the analytic solution of this uh, equation, but uh, uh, somehow lengthy uh, uh, representation. So, uh, uh, very uh, roughly speaking, uh, the, this spin current uh, is proportional to the omega. Uh, omega. Uh, omega is the mechanical uh, frequency of the mechanical resonator. So. Uh, the spin current uh, is proportional to the omega to the fourth power and the uh, spin lifetime tau spin flip and uh, the con uh, conductivity of the metal or the semiconductor and uh, the sound velocity. And, and uh, in this uh, table, uh, I will show uh, the uh, maximum uh, amplitude of the spin current uh, normalized by, the, by that of the uh, platinum. And the uh, interesting uh, point here is that uh, usually uh, the spintronic people uh, uh, use uh, the uh, uh, materials uh, with the strong uh, spin orbit traction to obtain the spin current, uh, such as the platinum. But in this mechanism, uh, we don't need uh, the spin orbit interaction. So, uh, uh, as you can see uh, here, uh, the, uh, for instance, the copper and the aluminum uh, uh, has a, a very uh, weak uh, spin uh, orbit interaction. So, uh, the, uh, this, uh, from this mechanism, uh, we obtain the largest spin current uh, in the metals with a lo longer uh, spin lifetime in other words, a weaker uh, spin orbit interaction. Yeah. Uh, finally, uh, I uh, will uh, talk about the uh, renormalization of the spin rotation coupling. Yeah. Uh, as you know, uh, the uh, Zeeman uh, interaction uh, can be uh, strongly mod modulated in the uh, solid, for instance, uh, the due to the interband mixing. So, uh, uh, for instance, 
uh, the n-type uh, the enzyme antimon, antimon, uh, the uh, G factor is strong, strongly modulated, and the modulated factor delta G uh, is uh, obtained uh, in this uh, paper, and uh, uh, is known as uh, the minus uh, 51. So uh, then my uh, final uh, question in this talk is uh, the following. Uh, as mentioned before, uh, the rotation uh, is very similar to the mag magnetic field, and the spin rotation coupling is very similar to the Zeeman coupling. So, uh, uh, question is, uh, is there uh, any enhancement of the spin rotation coupling due to the interband mixing? Okay. Uh, mm, let me start with a very, very simple Hamiltonian uh, with uh, uh, periodic potential V0. And uh, we uh, perform the unitary transformation uh, with the total uh, angular momentum L plus S. Then uh, we obtained uh, the uh, Hamiltonian in the rotating frame in this way. And, and L dot omega reproduce uh, the uh, classical inertial effect, uh, such as the Corioid force and a centrifugal force from this. And this is the counterpart of the orbital Zeeman coupling, L dot B. And uh, S dot omega is the uh, spin rotation coupling, and this is the mechanical analog of the Zeeman uh, interaction, S dot B. And the important point here is that the uh, orbital momentum L contains the uh, uh, op momentum operator P. And, uh, and the uh, momentum operator P is a very a crucial role for the, uh, uh, for the determine, for the symmetry of the Hamiltonian. Uh, so uh, if uh, we uh, put uh, together with uh, two uh, momentum operator in this P and this P, and we, we can, uh, 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 rewrite uh, this Hamiltonian in this form. And from Hami uh, clearly, uh, from Hamiltonian, uh, the uh, translational, uh, translational symmetry of the uh, Hamiltonian is um, uh, uh, ch completely changed. Uh, uh, so uh, we, uh, canonical momentum P it must be replaced uh, by the kinetic momentum uh, P plus E AG, AG is uh, uh, given by this form, and this is uh, exactly the same case in the, uh, in the presence of the uh, magnetic field. So, uh, uh, and, and uh, because of the uh, magnetic transformation uh, symmetry of the Hamiltonian is a magnetic uh, transformational symmetry. So accordingly, uh, the Brillouin zone uh, uh, is uh, also con uh, con uh, Magnetic brilliant zone uh, must be considered. So uh, when uh, uh, we uh, construct the Broca or wave uh, eigen function in the rotating frame, uh, the, uh, because of the rotate rotation is equivalent to the gauge field uh, or the vector potential uh, in this form. So uh, the crystal momentum uh, should be include this a vector potential due to the rotation. So uh, the, uh, from this uh, uh, momentum, uh, crystal momentum, uh, we uh, demonstrate uh, the uh, enhancement of the spin rotation coupling uh, by using the uh, eight-band K model. And, uh, and uh, uh, from uh, start with uh, uh, this uh, K model, uh, and uh, we uh, project, uh, uh, we construct the effective Hamiltonian for the conduction band electron. Then uh, the spin rotation cu cu coupling uh, is mod moderated in this form. And uh, this delta G is exactly the same uh, result uh, uh, which obtained uh, in the uh, Zeeman case, Zeeman coupling case. Uh, and uh, uh, the difference is uh, uh, factor two. So uh, for instance, the engine, uh, in, engine antimon case, 
the delta G is at minus 51. And in this case, uh, the uh, bare coupling uh, of the uh, bare Riemann coupling it becomes uh, the, uh, uh, 25 uh, larger than the original um, coupling. And in this case, the spin rotation uh, 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 coupling uh, is moderated 50 times, uh, 50 times larger than the uh, bare uh, coupling. And uh, as discussed before, uh, the, uh, this spin rotation coupling is responsible uh, uh, for the creation of the uh, spin current uh, 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 by the surface acoustic wave. So uh, the, this result means that the uh, enhancement, uh, we also have the enhancement of the surface acoustic wave, acoustic wave induced spin current. Okay, uh, let me summarize my talk. Uh, we'd like to uh, construct uh, the theory of the spin mechatronics, and in this talk, uh, I focused uh, uh, on, on, this, on the mechanical generation of the spin current in the rigid uh, uh, linear accelerating system or the rigid rotation system, this way. And, on the, and in this case, uh, the, uh, if you, have, uh, uh, you won't have the, uh, a large uh, spin current, uh, uh, we used, uh, we must use the strong uh, uh, spin orbit interacting uh, materials. And uh, in this case, uh, in the elastically driven uh, the mechanical rotation case, uh, we don't use uh, the spin orbit interaction. And, uh, and in, uh, moreover, uh, in this case, uh, the, uh, due to the interband mixing, the surface acoustic uh, uh, Effects of the surface acoustic wave uh, is strongly moderated uh, to the uh, interband mixing. Thanks for your attention. Uh, questions from the audience? For the uh, randomization part, okay. when you're talking about the uh, Hamiltonian, uh, mm -hmm. yes. One slice, uh, one slice before. Before, yeah, right. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you talk about uh, magnetic uh, translation symmetry. Yes. However, when you have a rotation, mm -hmm. you know uh, we must have an axis or mm -hmm. origin for the rotation. Yes, then we have. There should be no translation invariance, right? No trans, no trans. Yeah. When, uh, oh, no, 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 no. In the case of the magnetic field, uh -huh. uh, uh, we have the magnetic transmission symmetry, right. as you know. And in this case, uh, the, uh, the um, uh, mag magneti uh, uh, magnetic field has a mm -hmm. ax <laughs> some kind of axis. So uh, the direction of the magnetic field is the uh, uh, counterpart of the uh, rotation axis. So very uh, similar uh, situation. Okay, so huh. here okay. you are talking about uh, huh. the quotation mark magnetic uh, translation okay. mm. symmetry that's in the rotating frame or mm. in the uh, in uh, a rotating feet. frame. In the so rotating frame. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me the, hmm? uh, let me ask, ask the final questions. Uh -huh. I mean, can you go to the final conclusion? Conclusion. Final conclusion. Okay. Yeah. For example, I, mean, I, I, I go back to the original question that mm. it, 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 I'll go. I will see. Because E and B are the same dimension, so mm. if across R, the velocity limit is divided by. Mm. We have to divide by velocity light, right? So it would be exactly the effect is actually very small. I think the other question I have is it seems that you are saying that all this effect you are seeing is a general relativity effects. But if that were the case, I can actually, this is an experiment, to detect general relativity effects. With by acoustic waves, and then the, with, it's incredible. I mean, Incre incredible. Ah. Oh, but uh, uh, maybe you, uh, you. Okay, first question is uh, maybe just uh, the different unit uh, uh, we are talking about and you are talking about. Uh, for instance, uh, the, uh, in the SIP uh, old uh, paper, uh, they, uh, uh, and he uh, discussed the. Uh, uh, Maxwell equation in a rotating frame. 
and uh, they, they obtain the uh, uh, electric, electric field is modified in this form and the uh, magnetic field is uh, uh, the same in the inertial uh, frame. And this is result, and this is consistent of the, uh, our result. So uh, we don't need uh, the uh, uh, divide, uh, we don't need to divide by the uh, light velocity. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, and and the d d detail is uh, also uh, <laughs> I write a paper in the yeah such discussion. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Other questions? If not, uh, thanks. Thanks, Ricardo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>